it has started to snow. Oh dear, this is gonna be a long day. So our bathroom window doesn't even have glass and the water that is used to flush the toilet is frozen. If that doesn't tell you how cold it is in our bedroom, I don't know what does. Mm. like big giant marshmallows. <laughs> These jackets came with the tour and today's the first day that we need them. How do I begin? It snowed last night and our windows don't have glass. So the toilet water was iced over, the water bucket that you use to flush the toilet was iced over, and all of the snow from our shoes that we walked in with last night is still on the ground and my face medicine lotion was frozen so I couldn't use it. So anyway, that kind of sums up how cold it is in here and why we are officially in snow pants and puffers. Uh. For day six, we trekked to Labuche at 4,950 meters. The valley now becomes barren as you walk up towards Labuche, but your attention will be firmly on the snow-capped peaks which soar above you. The path joins the trail below Thugla and gives beautiful views of Chalatsi at 6,442 meters. After another steep ascent, Tawachi and Nupsi are particularly spectacular from Labuche, towering almost two kilometers directly overhead. Yeah. So it snowed last night <coughs> and we finally understand why Everest Base Camp Trek is a little bit busier than usual. We've been talking to a lot of people and most of the people that we have met in the guest houses never actually plan to do the Everest Base Camp Trek. All of the other main treks throughout Nepal have been affected from weather and are now closed, so all of the tour companies have been diverting all of the trekkers to this one single trek. So it's super packed, we have our first snowfall, the ground is about an inch and a half deep, and we're going pretty steep today, so we're gonna need to take it slow. Tay is feeling a little bit better. Yeah, my stomach is still a little shaky, but I think for the most part it's better than it was yesterday, so. Yeah, and I think <coughs> we both decided that it was food related, not elevation related. We were sitting at dinner last night and our guide was showing us photos of all of his clients that never made it to the top. He we was were like, like, this is not very helpful. <laughs> he's like, this guy got a headache here and had to turn back. I was like, oh God, okay. So far, no headache, we're good. Our next stop is about six hours away, and this should be an interesting day. Goodbye, you frigid little thing. Hi. <sighs> you are very interesting looking today. <laughs> I can't even look at the It looks like like an old, like an old man. It looks like my dad. This is what my dad wears camping. <laughs> All right, Michelin man. Day six is amazing. It almost feels like a completely different trek. There's not a tree in sight. 
The ground is covered in snow. It's just completely different. I love it. Ask me again in a couple hours, I might not love it. No, because right now it's flat and then it gets really steep. <laughs> the coats are back on. It is officially snowing. <laughs> and looking ahead, it looks like it might be snowing for a long time. <laughs> we did wish for this, didn't we? Did we? I think we did. I don't know. Now I'm wishing for blue skies. Yeah. <laughs> It's so cold that the snow isn't even snow. It's like little pellets. It looks like hail almost. Yeah, it's not snowflakes. Wow. Normally we would be super bummed that there are no views today, but it's actually really cool to be able to see the Himalayas and all the elements. We've already had the sun, we've had the wind, we've had the clouds, and now we have a snowstorm. I feel like I've seen it all and that's, that's fun. That's what you expect to see. Yeah. Honestly. I'm digging this. Yeah. Break number one at Thukla. Oh, and some horses mating in the background. <sighs> oh. <laughs> trying to stay warm. No. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's hard. You don't have as much breath. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Noodle soup for Tay, that looks awesome. And I was tired of rice, so I got breakfast again. <laughs> nice change. Nice change. Thank you. Yum. Ooh, that looks good. <laughs> I honey. Love that honey. The honey is just a little cold. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a sucker. <laughs> Um, okay. <laughs> Lunch was perfect. Now to hit the trail again. <laughs> Are you bundled? I'm super bundled. I bet in like five minutes once you start walking it's gonna be really hot again, but... It's snowing. <laughs> Okay, we're at about 15,000 feet. It's dumping. It's like whiteout conditions. It's kind of losing its magic for me. I'm definitely like wishing this day away and hoping for better weather. This is pretty sure. bad. I mean, it's so bad that if this continues, I don't know what will happen tomorrow. Yeah. This is really bad. Since we left from lunch about 25 minutes ago, there's already a new two inches of snow. I can't even see up the hill. This kind of sucks. It kind of sucks, and we've got two hours of this, so. And that's like at a normal pace, so right. who knows? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that's the other thing is this, this, the trail is gone. You can't see the trail. We're following footprints, and the steps are super slippery. This is actually, this mm -hmm. is borderline dangerous. You have to go so slow. So about two and a half hours if we're lucky, and then we're gonna hide out. I'm getting in my sleeping bag. Yeah. Never leaving. Oh. <laughs> sun is shining and we made it to Logbuche and the snow has gone down for the most part. I'm kind of hoping that it's just over from here because it might be the same situation tomorrow which would really be a drag but we made it to our base for the night and it's probably like one o'clock. Yeah <laughs> nice work dear. Thank you. You too. Home for the night is Hotel Mother Earth. <laughs> 
fitting. Okay. Oh, honey, yes. This is like. Oh, oh, oh. It smells like what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good times. We made it. Day six is over with. Oh. I'm getting my no shower for a couple day hair going on. Yeah. It's super cold. It was not a hard day. The thing that really threw us for a loop was the snow. Yeah. <laughs> so in that amount of time, I would say, depending on the elevation we were at, there were about four inches of new snow. You couldn't <laughs> even see the mountains. I mean, it's gonna be really cool because in a couple of days, hopefully it's, it clears up and we come back this way and we'll be able to see, but for today, we couldn't see anything. We are officially at our record elevation of all time. We are at 16,236 feet. That is so high. I, I can't even comprehend. I mean, we're far higher than any of the highest peaks in the contiguous United States. By tomorrow, when we go to base camp, we will be higher than most peaks in all of North America. So that's kind of crazy to think about. So today, we're gonna chill out it's early it's only like 1 p.m mm -hmm. we have this lovely floral room roses and oh, more roses it's great <laughs> so far so good so far so good tomorrow is ever space camp the next day is call it Patar, and then we basically like roll down the mountain to make it home on time <laughs> what we do in eight days to go back we do in two this should be interesting yeah.